Baltimore Fam Weekly News with Valerie. Hello everyone, I'm Valerie. Thanks for tuning in to Baltimore Fam Weekly News, where we discuss headlines from around the city, state, nation, and the world. In local news, Baltimore won a House Committee's approval Tuesday for a $1 billion plan to replace and repair old schools. The Baltimore Sun paper reported the Appropriations Committee voted 21-3 to send the plan to the House floor. Under the proposal, the state, city, and school system will each contribute $20 million a year. The money will let the city launch a program to build about 15 new schools and to renovate about 35 more. Share your opinions of this story on BaltimoreFam.com. And now for Baltimore Fam's weekly weather. As we approach spring, we're hoping to get closer to warmer weather. Tania, how's the weather looking for us this week? Hi Val. Well on Monday, we will see a few rain and snow showers and it will only reach 38 degrees. Tuesday will be partly cloudy at 49 degrees. Wednesday will also be 49 degrees and mostly cloudy. Thursday will be 50 degrees and partly cloudy going through the weekend. Friday and Saturday will be 53 degrees. On Sunday, temperatures will start to go back up to 55 degrees, but we can expect to see some showers. That's all for this week's weather with Baltimore Fam. Have an awesome week, everyone. Thanks, Tania. In national news, we welcome the new Pope Jorge Pergoglio of Argentina. He will now be addressed as Pope Francis. The Pope was formally installed in a mass on last Tuesday morning. 70% of Catholics say Pope Francis make them feel better about the future of the Catholic Church, according to a Fox News national poll. Now we have Imani tell us a little about what's going on in Baltimore's social scene. Hi Val! Easter is quickly approaching, and although many people love to cook for the holiday, there are quite a few people who enjoy going out to eat with fam and friends. A recent list of the top restaurants to dine in Baltimore for Sunday brunch has been released. The first restaurant is Bistro 300, which will be serving an Easter jazz brunch with seatings from 11.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 3.30 p.m. Number two is Clementine Restaurant. Fleet Street Kitchen ranked number three, and Joey Chew's Restaurant in Green Spring Inn ranked number four. Johnny's on Roland Avenue ranked number five. They'll be taking reservations for an Easter Sunday buffet brunch from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Milton Inn came in at number six. Pazzo Restaurant ranked number seven. Number eight, Royal Sinesta Harbor Court is offering the classic Easter Sunday brunch with carving, omelets, and dessert stations. Sobo Cafe ranked number nine. And coincidentally, 1010 Restaurant came in as number 10. So, there are more than enough Easter brunch choices for you and your family to enjoy. Also, I want to remind you all to watch our very own Baltimore Raven, Jacoby Jones, on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. I'm Imani, and that's all for this week's social scene with BaltimoreFam.com. Thanks, Val. Thanks, Imani. Let's hear about the world of sports with Darius. Hi, Val. Baltimore sports scene has been very exciting. With the help of top player Des Wells, who scored 19 points, the Maryland Turfs defeated Denver 62-52 in the second round of the National Invitation Tournament. In high school sports, Edmondson High's men's basketball coach Donnell Dantzler was named Boys Basketball Coach of the Year. The team, also known as the Red Storm, suffered several losses this season. However, were able to strengthen their team and make their way to the state tournament. In his six years of coaching at Edmondson, Dancer led his team to its first city title in 2010, 
and now on to his first state championship. Congratulations, Coach Dantzler and the Red Storm. Also, a special congratulations to the Baltimore Ravens on signing former free agent Elvis Dumerville. I'm Darius. That's all for this week's sports with the Baltimore fam, and have an awesome week, everyone. Well, that's it for this week's news with BaltimoreFam.com. Please continue to visit our website frequently for more local news, events, and great tips for your family. Again, I'm Valerie. Have a blessed week.